Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. It is Sunday, October 24th, and it is about 5.30 in the afternoon right now. I haven't figured out what I'm doing for supper yet. Um, I just wanted to turn you around in a minute here and show you what I picked up from the grocery store today. Um, I'm off work today, and I stopped, I had church this morning, and I delivered a care package to my friend at church today. And uh, that was the uh, care package that I showed you in the in the cookie baking video that I did last night. Excuse all the noise in the background. My parrot, my Senegal parrot, is in the kitchen here where I am. And he's up on top of the pantry cupboard and throwing things on the floor. So he's making a bit of a mess. Oh, he's managed to get the cupboard door open a crack too in the background. And he's pulling things out of the cupboard that he's throwing on. That's where all the chaos is coming from. At any rate, um, I made a chocolate chip cookie video last night. Um, the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookie video. And in that, I was also assembling a care package for a friend of mine at church. Um, he's a fellow a friend of mine from church, from prayer meeting and Sunday morning services, who just lost his grandmother a week ago. And I just felt bad. And I just wanted to do something for him. So I was making cookies anyway. I wanted to film that, but also assembled a care package in that video as well. So if you watched that last night, then you'll have seen that. If not, you can feel free to go and check that out too. It's a, it's, it, it's the most recent one I filmed prior to this one. So at any rate, so I had church this morning, delivered that care package. He was quite surprised and quite moved by it. So that's good. That's a mission accomplished. I'm glad I was able to do something nice. And then uh, came home for a short time, had some leftovers for lunch, and decided to go put a little bit of gas in my car at the Superstore gas bar and then go into Superstore and grab a few things. So I'll show you what I got. I mostly just bought a few things that were on points because I'm between paychecks right now and I don't have a lot of extra cash at the moment. So I just got what I needed that were on points and that's all I did. So let me just get the Senegal out of whatever he dragged out of the cupboard there because he's getting into trouble. He's eating something he shouldn't. And I'll turn you around and start filming in, um, in just a minute and show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing I did is I stopped at the Superstore gas bar and I only put $10 worth of gas in right now. It's not a lot, but it's just enough to get me through until my payday on Thursday. Uh, driving to work at the store is like a five minute drive or maybe three minute drive for that matter. But Tuesday, Wednesday, I have to work at the school and that's more like a 10 minute drive. So I do need a little bit of gas because I was almost completely out. So I just put $10 in that gave me 210 points, left me with a closing balance of 68,334 points. Now we're going to move on to what I got in the store. No name broth was on my offers. I have several beef broth, but I noticed I was down to two chicken broth. I was only going to get two, but I ended up getting four because they actually were... I want to say they were... Well, they were $1.18 a piece. Okay, that doesn't seem right to me because I'm pretty sure the sign in store said $0.68 cents a piece. That's why I grabbed four. Okay, so that must be... Okay, yeah, it was 68 cents. Yeah, because it said four to dollar eighteen, that's four seventy-two, and then two dollars off. That's right. So that would mean instead of it being a dollar eighteen a piece, because it's two dollars off, that means fifty cents off per container. So instead of a dollar eighteen a piece, like it says, four at one eighteen, but then two dollars off, that means fifty cents off each. So that means they were sixty-eight cents each. That's correct. I wish they would just put the price instead. You know, that would make it so much easier because here I'm thinking now I'm home and that they rip me off, but it would, but it's not worth driving back there if they rip me off because it's only $2 and they spend that much in gas going back there. So at any rate, that's why I bought four because normally they can be like a dollar or more each, usually more like a dollar 25 each. And usually when they go on sale, they're around a dollar. So for them to be down to 68 cents a piece is quite a good price. So I grabbed four and then I grabbed my 1% milk because the last time I did a serious grocery haul, a week or so ago, I could only get a two liter carton. They were out of the four liter jugs. So then they also had an offer of, I think it was 4,000 points if you bought $40 in poultry. Now, I, as I said, I'm between paychecks. I don't get paid myself till Thursday um, this week. And so things are a little tight right now. So I didn't want to exceed the $40 very much. So I was looking at what they had available to try and just get the minimum that I needed to get those points. And that would be it. So I got just that. I got 12 a week for chicken drumsticks, club pack, and a club pack of boneless skinless chicken breasts, 2802. Now, quite often at my work at Sobeys, you'll see there'll be a pack of like usually four to a tray. This one has two, four, six, eight, basically 12. There'll be four or five to a tray at the ones I get at my work, and they'll be about $20. Now, sometimes they will, and then of course I get my discount on top of it. 
but then sometimes they will have them at my work for like 19 20 21 dollars for a tray of four or five and they'll be buy one get one free so then you're like getting two of them for that price but this time so instead of getting like four or five for 19 20 dollars I'm getting like a dozen for $28. Now I'm not getting a discount, but I am getting points because there was a points offer on poultry. Excuse all the parrot noise in the background, guys. They are quite vocal today. Um, so that's all I did. I got $12.08 and $28.02. So just over $40, just enough to get the absolute minimum $40 to get those points. So that's all I bought today because I just don't have the extra budget right now to buy extra stuff. I'll have to wait until later this week once I'm paid to do a bigger grocery shop. So here we are. I got every $40 spent on fresh poultry, 4,000 points. Now, had I had a bigger budget and I wanted to spend like $80 or $120 on poultry and really stock up, then I would have gotten $40 times two or times three, depending on how many times I spent $40. And then the no-name canned chicken broth or the no-name chicken broth was just simply 400 points. I think it was... I, was, I think it was like 200 points for every $2 spent or something. So that's why I got, I spent like $4.72 on the broth and got 400 points. So this is 200 times 2. I spent 47.47 in store. That means I got, where's my breakdown of my points? It should be down here. Didn't redeem anything. For, earned 4,400 points and leave me, left me with a closing balance of 72,734 points, which means I have now broken the $70 mark. So I now have $70, just over $70 worth of points to use at Superstore in-store, not at the gas bar. You can't use it for gas yet, but just to use in-store for grocery purchases if I need to do that. So earned a couple hundred points at the gas bar and then... 4400 today so yeah now I'm, now I'm back up over 70 dollars in points again so that's it that's all i bought today but like i said i've had a, it's not a pretty limited budget today that's all i could do right now but i just wanted to show you what i got and the points and then i'm slowly building my points back up hope everybody's having a great weekend my we actually don't have a dog that is ruby our african great parrot and when she is hungry or bored she barks like a dog but we actually don't have a dog we have lots of birds and we have a rabbit but we have one bird who barks like a dog. So if you think you're hearing a chihuahua in the background, you're not. That's just Ruby. On that note, I'm going to wrap this up. I know it's a short and sweet video, but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, please do leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and give this a thumbs up. And hopefully we'll see you later this next week. Maybe I'll get a cooking video or two done. I've got a busy week of work ahead. I've got two days of two shifts at the school and four at the store to do. So I've got a fairly busy week lined up of work, but I hope to get a couple of cooking videos in and hopefully possibly a grocery haul if I'm able to do a bigger grocery shop later this week or next weekend. And I'm hoping to actually to maybe do a video in the next couple of days of the Halloween decorations. The outside Halloween decorations are not up yet, but I'm help planning in the next couple of days to get my living room decorations out and about and um, the treat bags made for next weekend so hopefully i'll be able to get a video of that up too for you so stay tuned make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you won't miss the videos when they come up i mean i know they're not i'm not the best youtuber in the world so it's not like oh stay tuned make sure you don't miss us the next episode kind of thing but if you do enjoy my content and you don't want to miss anything then do make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on just so that you don't miss and I will see you next time. Hope everybody's had a great weekend and it just has a good week as well. See you next time, everyone.